Hello, my name is Camille Mora, and I'm going to be reviewing Schiller Math Kit 1, which is the kit I bought. And it takes you from pre-K math through third grade math. I bought it for my son, who is currently six years old, and he started using it uh, with book one, which I have right here, and, while he was in transitional kindergarten. And he is currently in the middle of book three, and we have just finished our kindergarten year. So he's used it for about a year and a half. Um, kit three has, I mean, sorry, kit one has three books. Books one, books two, and then books three, which are red and are in our math kit and that we're using right now. And one of the things I like about it and one of the reasons he's been able to move forward so quickly is that it's very concept-based. The spiral approach allows them to continue to revisit old math concepts that they've learned and continue to build upon them. So for him, writing is difficult. He's only in kindergarten and their little hands get tired pretty quickly. A lot of other math programs have worksheets. They're worksheet heavy, there's a lot of writing, they need to write in all the answers. And Schiller math just isn't like that. The Montessori approach lends itself to be hands-on and manipulative based. Um, one of the things they use a lot, which I like, are these. We have uh, base 10 blocks, thousand cubes, and then, um, let's see, well, 100 flats, tens, thousand cubes, which I showed you, and then, the uh, unit cubes and they use these to really develop a good number sense and I like that I like that he's developing his number sense of where numbers belong and how where how the values look um, let's see Schiller math also utilizes these number cards to help teach let's see if you can see these teach place value and so he's able to manipulate these and move these numbers around um, to really see his math instead of write his math. And I like that a lot, especially for these younger kiddos where their biggest limitation in school really is writing. So if you can take away the fact that their writing is just not developed yet and really focus on the content, then they can move forward pretty quickly concept-wise. And I think Schiller math allows for that. It allows kids to move at their cognitive level without their fine motor skills holding them back. Um, and so in that respect, Schiller math has made my kid a better math learner because it's made him really love math. Now, writing he does not love. So when we pull out something as part of our homeschool that he sees as requiring writing, he tends to shut down. But math isn't like that at all. So he really likes math. A lot of times we'll start our day with math just to get him in the schoolroom. Um, Shiloh Math also uses, they have dominoes to help with number sense and counting. Um, and he really likes that a lot, especially when we're adding them, using them for addition and subtraction. Um, and then because of the spiral approach, you're always revisiting concepts you've learned and adding to that which also means you're using different materials on different days and it doesn't get old it doesn't get boring and that's a lot of fun like they use these pattern blocks i guess you could call them um often and those are those are a lot of fun for him where he tiles different um shapes in his Schiller math book so oftentimes uh most Oftentimes the worksheets aren't even consumable because you're not writing in them. And I like that a lot too because you can go back and redo and redo that lesson as much as you need without it, without it having to use up the workbook. Um, so this is book three. Find the cover here. This is book three, the book we're in. And again, he just finished kindergarten. So this has been... Um, a real blessing for us and I'm just going to show you kind of what I'm talking about so for here it was going over the different uh, the different signs and they were learning divide by and see very little writing required they're just going to write the sign a couple times circle which ones are which 
and then as with the Montessori method, asking them, what is this? What is this? What is this? And you go through the different types of knowing. Inter introduction, um, divide by having them draw it, and then through. And that's the lesson for that lesson. So oftentimes you can do more than one lesson in a day. Um, and I really like the flexibility that that has. So we've been really happy with it. Um, we will be buying uh, Kit 2 when he's done with this and we will be saving this to use with my other son as well. So thanks for watching my video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know. Thanks.